Have you ever wondered what secrets the universe is hiding within? Well, we might have an answer for you because the James Webb Telescope has finally found the edge of the universe. Let's jump right in. You see, the James Webb Space Telescope has been used by astronomers to go back in time to the early cosmos, and they have discovered an unexpected object, six huge galaxies that existed between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang that formed the universe were discovered by the Satellite Observatory, according to a new study released in the journal Nature. The revelation is fundamentally revolutionizing previously held views regarding the creation of galaxies. Turns out, these things are much larger than anyone anticipated. In what was once thought to be the early cosmos, scientists found galaxies as mature as our own when they didn't expect to find anything but tiny newly created galaxies. How well this telescope uses infrared light to examine the universe because this wavelength is undetectable to the human eye and is able to pick up the feeble light emitted by old stars and galaxies. So the observatory can literally look back in time to around 13.5 billion years ago by gazing into the faraway universe. This is amazing because the universe is estimated to be 13.7 billion years old by scientists. What many of us had believed to be proven established science has been turned upside down by the discovery of this massive galaxy formation which started extremely early in the history of the cosmos. These things, which we have colloquially dubbed universe breakers, have so far lived up to their name. Now scientists need to reconsider how galaxies came into being and evolved since they're so enormous that they disagree with 99% of models describing early galaxies in the universe. According to the prevailing idea, galaxies started out as little clouds of stars and dust that developed through time. For the first time, scientists peered into the very early universe without any concept of what they would discover. It turns out that what we discovered is so unforeseen that it actually poses challenges for science. In fact, it casts doubt on the theory of early galaxy formation as a whole. When the web data and the first high-resolution photos of the telescope were made available in July 2022, researchers started examining them. The team was shocked to find the galaxies, and they were so shocked that they believed they'd misinterpreted the data when they first saw them as big points of light. Everyone simply dove in when they received the data, and these enormous objects appeared very quickly, almost like they wanted to be found. Taking a spectrum photograph of the galaxies, which includes dividing light into multiple wavelengths to identify various elements and estimate the true distance of the galaxies, is one technique to find out why, how, and when the galaxies developed. The spectroscopy measurements provide us a more thorough understanding of these giant bodies and a spectrum will instantly inform us of the reality of these things as well as their size and distance from the Earth. Funny thing is, though this wasn't even close to being at the top of the list of things we hoped to learn from James Webb, scientists had no idea what they discovered, but here we are. Also, it happened far more quickly than scientists had anticipated. It's also possible that the galaxies found with Webb data are something else. Considering that this is our first look back, so far, it's crucial that we have an open mind regarding what we're observing. Even though the data suggests they are most likely galaxies, there is a chance that some of these objects are actually hidden supermassive black holes. Get this, the known mass of stars at this moment in the history of the universe is up to 100 times more than we had previously believed. This is still a remarkable discovery, even if we cut the sample in half. Using information from the James Webb Space Telescope, an international team of astronomers has found the oldest and farthest galaxies confirmed to date. These galaxies date back to fewer than 400 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was barely 2% of its present age, since the telescope detected light emitted by them more than 13.4 billion years ago. Similar to prior observations with the Hubble Space Telescope, the first observations from JWST revealed a number of potential galaxies. Now four of these objects have been verified by lengthy spectroscopic observations, which not only allow astronomers to study the physical characteristics of the galaxies, but also provide secure assessments of their distances. Also, by calculating a galaxy's redshift, astronomers can determine its distance from us. What's that you ask? The universe appears to be expanding away from us, and the Doppler effect causes distant objects' light to be stretched to longer, redder wavelengths. Redshift estimations can be obtained using photometric methods based on photos acquired through various filters, but accurate measurements demand spectroscopy, which breaks down an object's light into its constituent wavelengths. 
The new discoveries concentrate on four galaxies that have redshifts greater than 10. Hubble's initial observations of two galaxies have been confirmed to have redshifts of 10.38 and 11.58. With redshifts of 13.20 and 12.63, the two most distant galaxies, both of which were found in JWST images, are the ones whose distance has been confirmed by spectroscopy to date. Redshift 13.2 indicates a time period of roughly 13.5 billion years ago. The near-infrared camera and the near-infrared spectrograph Two of the instruments on board Webb were developed by scientists who worked together to produce the findings. What's more, the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey is an ambitious program that has been allotted slightly over one month of the telescope's time and is intended to provide an unprecedented glimpse of the early cosmos in depth and detail. In 2015, the instrument teams came together to propose the project. More than 80 astronomers and scientists from 10 different nations were part of the worldwide partnership known as JADES. Starting with NIRCAM, the JADES program spent more than 10 days of mission time observing a tiny area of sky in and surrounding the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. With almost all large telescopes, astronomers have been investigating this region for more than 20 years. Nearly 100,000 far-off galaxies, each billions of light years away, were discovered by the JADES team after they studied the field in nine different infrared wavelength bands. The scientists then collected the light from 250 weak galaxies over the course of a single three-day observing period using the NIR spectrograph. The characteristics of the gas and stars in these galaxies were disclosed, and exact redshift values were obtained. We can determine the intrinsic brightness of the galaxies and how many stars they contain using these measurements. The construction of galaxies over time can now be fully dissected without knowledge of the early stages of a galaxy's growth. Understanding a galaxy can be challenging. Much like with humans, the effects of these early star generations have a significant influence on later events. This is the most exciting time in. So many questions about galaxies are being answered by the transformative possibility of Webb. You see, some of the earliest stars would have formed roughly 225 million years after the Big Bang since star formation in these young galaxies would have started about 100 million years before the age at which they were discovered. NASA's Deep Space Observatory Telescope is providing a fresh perspective on the cosmos, and there's much more we've discovered. As a pioneer in scientific research, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered astonishing new information on galaxies, planets, stars, and a variety of other fascinating cosmic phenomena. The telescope, which was launched in December 2021 and is expected to operate for 20 years, is just getting started on its cosmic trip. Webb, which is marketed as the replacement for the Hubble Space Telescope, is also setting new standards for scientific enthusiasm. By modifying the raw data, people all across the world are sharing its photos or developing fresh insights. Remember when Google, the world's largest search engine, used a web query to test the new BARD AI bot in February 2023? Webb was not the first telescope to directly image an exoplanet, which is a basic point that BARD sadly overlooked. But this telescope also discovered a lot of other amazing things. For instance, Webb was the result of years of labor by NASA scientists and engineers. When it was launched on Christmas Day in 2021, the several steps of the telescope's deployment in the months that followed also went off without a hitch. Webb revealed its amazing initial photographs in mid-July, which allowed us to observe practically every aspect of our universe, including the farthest galaxies, in greater detail with the aid of the infrared telescope, giving us a window into the past. Within days of the telescope becoming online in late June 2022, scientists started finding thousands of new galaxies that were older and farther away than any previously known ones. In fact, some of these galaxies may have been discovered more than 150 million years before Hubble's oldest discovery. The telescope can also gather enough light from celestial objects, such as exoplanets and newborn stars, to uncover their composition and their trajectories across space. This data has already started to disclose in great detail the atmospheric makeup of planets hundreds of light years away from Earth, providing suggestions as to their potential ability to support life as we know it. By analyzing small glimmers of light from close to the beginning of time, the James Webb Space Telescope also discovered what may be the oldest black hole discovered in the universe. The supermassive black hole, 
which has a mass 10 million times that of the Sun, was found at the heart of a young galaxy 570 million years after the universe first began, thanks to the telescope's potent cameras, which allow it to see back in time to the earliest moments of the cosmos. The cosmic monster may be one of many black holes that grew in size during the cosmic dawn, which began approximately 100 million years after the Big Bang and lasted for a billion years. Even then, why there were so many of these black holes and how they grew to be so large are both mysteries to astronomers. Some of these giant space-time ruptures create light that can be seen by telescopes due to friction that heats the material spiraling into their mouths. These objects are known as active galactic nuclei, or AGN, supermassive black holes or quasars, which are billions of times heavier than the sun and release their gaseous cocoons with light blasts trillions of times brighter than the brightest stars, are the most extreme form of AGN. Because light moves across space at a constant speed, when scientists probe farther into the cosmos, they catch more distant light and get access to earlier eras of the universe. The JWST's mid-infrared instrument and near-infrared camera were used to scan the sky for the black hole, and their built-in spectrographs were used to separate the light spectrum into its various frequencies. They discovered a crucial indicator that the heated material surrounding a black hole was beaming out feeble traces of radiation. By dissecting these flimsy glimmers delivered from the universe's early years, an unexpected rise among the frequencies included within the light. It's still unclear how black holes appeared so rapidly over our young cosmos. The search for much younger primordial black holes that are thought to have formed immediately following the Big Bang, or even earlier, is also ongoing. But so far, they continue to elude us. But don't fret. Even now, there are two main explanations for why there are so many black holes today. Either they are the remnants of giant stars that formed much more quickly than the stars we know today, or billowing clouds of incredibly dense gas suddenly collapsed to form the all-eating singularities in space-time. More likely, a so-called Population 3 star, which is a class of hypothetical stars thought to have formed 200 million years after the Big Bang and contained only hydrogen and helium, exploded and left behind a black hole before gathering a lot of matter fairly quickly and at a faster-than-stable rate to grow to the size that researchers observed. The scientists will start collaborating with the group that developed MIRI to seek an even more pronounced signal of the light from the far-off galaxy. These emissions may hold additional information regarding the formation of the enigmatic black hole in the galaxy's center. Scientists have also taken a look back in time to the early stages of the universe and seen seven interacting galaxies creating a protocluster. It's the furthest galaxy cluster discovered by researchers, and according to simulations, the system will have grown to be one of the oldest and largest known galaxy clusters in the universe, with a mass nearly 100 times greater than that of the Milky Way galaxy. The Hubble Space Telescope made the initial discovery of the seven galaxies, but it wasn't sensitive enough to measure the precise distance between the galaxies. Even though they were all spotted along the same line of sight, imagine flying far above Los Angeles and using a telescope to peer out the window. You might see Phoenix, Dallas, and Atlanta, but you wouldn't know the precise distances separating them, right? But thanks to the James Webb Telescope, we got to see a much clearer picture. These kinds of clusters, according to scientists, are extremely unusual and difficult to locate. Now, it's unlikely that we'll use JWST to discover another unique system like this one. We need a telescope that can view a larger portion of the sky, because the one we have can only see relatively limited sections of the sky. Don't worry. These kinds of findings will be made possible during the next 10 years by the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, a future observatory that NASA plans to launch in early 2027. It'll make it easier to identify galaxy clusters in the early universe like the one found in this study because of its wide area survey capabilities, which will be more than 100 times greater than that of JWST. Anyway, coming back to the discoveries of JWST, in the 1990s, Astronomers made the first exoplanet discoveries thanks to the Revolutionary Telescope. As of now, more than 3,000 extrasolar planets are known to exist. However, only about a dozen of these have been directly photographed. The majority of exoplanets are so far away that they can only be seen when their host star's light dims as the planet passes in front of it. Webb changed that. The planet was identified in 2017 and given the name WASP-39b and it. S 700 light years away from Earth. 
It's a boiling gas giant the size of Saturn that revolves around its host star at an outrageously close distance, about eight times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. After all, Webb was designed to explore the universe's farthest edges, and researchers confirmed that it successfully done exactly that and then some. Let us know in the comments below what you think about these discoveries, and make sure to subscribe for more. See you in the next video.